So I've gone ahead and pulled the Naze 32 out of this QAV 250 and you can see in front of me this is the Pix Falcon. It's a very compact unit but it does have quite a few components. You can see the power module which I soldered to the PCB, compass, GPS, your RC outputs, S bus from the receiver into the Pix Falcon telemetry and it even comes with a nice little OSD module but I'll leave that alone initially so all of these components for $209 so let me go ahead and power this up just so we can see how this behaves and you heard that initialization sequence just like you normally hear from Pixhawk so this even has an external switch just like we do have with Pixhawk, but on the side there is a switch button. So I may use that instead just to keep things simple. I have everything mounted except the telemetry module and the OSD. Initially I'm gonna keep those off just so that I can get this configured up and running. Once we get it dialed in and flying well, I'll get all of that hooked up. So I have everything configured with Mission Planner in this Pix Falcon. And I want to show you guys just a couple of neat things I've discovered before I actually do a test flight. I'm going to go over to the flight mode screen. And by default, I have it set in acro mode, then stabilize, then loiter on the switch. And what I want to demonstrate is the feedback that you get from Pix Falcon when you toggle your switch. So I'm in the default acro mode. I'm going to switch up. And you hear that little beep. So that's a pretty nifty little feature. And as I mentioned before, I'm not doing wireless telemetry just yet. I'm connected via USB. And just as with your normal PixSock, you get a little bit of feedback when you try to arm and your safety switch isn't ready. So as I mentioned before, I'm not going to be using the safety switch just to simplify the setup a little bit. So what I can do is go here and you'll notice there is a switch button right on the side. So I'll go ahead and press that. You can hear those ESCs arm. And let me see if I can go ahead and arm the motors. Ground start. Initializing ATM. So we look to be armed. I'll go ahead and disarm. All right, so I'm out here with the Pix Falcon, flying in stabilized mode. You can see it coming back to level actually handles quite well. Now I had to work a good bit on my gains and they're not bad for I guess my first stab at trying to uh, get this working with a 250 size frame. So let me just see what happens. I'll try to go into loiter real quick. Now I haven't really spent a whole lot of time tuning so um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Okay here we go loiter mode. That's definitely not what we want. So I'll bring it back. We are in stabilize. I'll give loiter, give loiter just one more try. Here we go. Try to get it nice and easy. Get it at loiter now. Nope. But I'll definitely be working on that and share my results if I can get that tuned and dialed in. So that's the QAV 250 with Pix Falcon. So far, so good. I'll keep you guys posted. And until next time, thanks for watching.